So in the past few years, New Jersey has been getting bombarded with so many people relocating here. But here in Union County has been super hot since we're still near New York City, but we have that amazing suburb in living. This is a particular town located right in the center called Cranford, New Jersey. This town, in my opinion, has a mixture of everything. You're gonna get the quick, easy commute to the city, an amazing culture in town, but not only that, you're gonna get amazing school districts. So for those people thinking about making that big move, make sure you check out the whole video. We're gonna talk about the neighborhoods, things to do, and overall, why Cranford might be good or bad for you. All right, so before we dive into the video, let me give you a quick rundown what you should be expecting. We're gonna have a quick map view of the overall Cranford, New Jersey. I'm gonna show you exactly what you're gonna find and what part of Cranford, because depending if you're in the north south side of Cranford, things change drastically. I'm gonna show you the distances from different areas, what is gonna be nearby Cranford as well, and pretty much give you a, as much as I can of what's it like living in Cranford, New Jersey. So let's dive in the video and I'll see you right there. Okay, so before we actually dive into Cranford, New Jersey, I wanted to give you an idea where Union County in general is located. The highlighter red is all Union County. You can see that we're not that far away from New York City. You have a few other cities and towns in between like Bayonne, Newark, but Union County and, re and relative is pretty close. And then Cranford is located dead center of Union County, but you can see here. And a few surrounding towns we can say are Westfield, Clark, you have Winfield, which is like literally a city of just trailer houses, well, a town of just trailer houses, and you really don't see much action there. But then you have Roselle, Roselle Park, Kenilworth, and Garwood, major, uh, major, major, major suburban areas mostly. And you can see that Cranford itself is extremely suburban. You're not going to find uh, much of the city feel like you do in Elizabeth. Like, Elizabeth right here is this major city in Union County. So you're definitely gonna get that suburban feel. But before we actually dive into Cranford, let me kind of show you major things you're gonna find in the nearby area. So you have Elizabeth, New Jersey, and within Elizabeth and Newark, there's a Newark um, Liberty International Airport. Huge, huge benefit of living in Cranford because you're just minutes away from the airport. Literally a 20 minute drive. And that's huge because a lot of people do need to have that accessibility to the airport, especially if you are traveling or pretty much relocating from another state. You still want to go see families. You're really literally minutes away. From there, you have a huge outlet mall called the Miller Jersey Gardens. Also, a quick 20-minute ride away. And that's pretty cool because in Cranford, you're not only going to have the Miller's at Jersey Gardens, you're also going to have a different numbers of different um, malls. So you have the Short Hills Mall this mall is going to be a much more higher end type of feel you're going to have gucci prada those definitely those higher end uh, rest, uh, retail names and the cool thing is that you're only about a 20 minute drive from there and from cranford you're also going to have the mellow park mall this mall is another mall um not unlike the jersey gardens or the short Hills mall it's more of a you might say regular kind of mall you're gonna have find an amc theater there you're gonna find uh restaurants you're gonna find the cheesecake factory a lot of different things that in cranford you're not gonna get but it's extremely close to everything since we're literally dead center of union county with that being said few major transportations because if you are relocated coming from another state or another town you're definitely gonna need these um these ways highway systems you're gonna have route 22 which is gonna have the Walmart, which is here. You have the Walmart, you're gonna have um, all those ma major retail names, Target, LA Fitness, you're gonna have um, different kind of restaurants, Chipotle, and you're only about a 10 minute drive from um, Cranford to Route 22, which is pretty cool, because if you don't get, because in Cranford, you're really not gonna get those bigger retail names, but you're extremely close to everything that you might just need. And before I take you down and actually show you the town of Cranford, let me break it down in a few sections. So we have the north south side of Cranford. North side is going to be more of the older feel of the town. You're going to get maybe the older homes, 1800s, early 1900s. And these homes are going to be a lot bigger. You're going to get those big colonials, maybe Victorians homes. And that's going to be here in the upper north side section you're still going to get maybe newer style homes but nothing compared to when you don't come when you come down south and you're by clark area here's going to have a lot of the newer construction homes we're going to see later on and pretty much you're going to get that younger feel of the town right in the center you're going to find a downtown area which is going to have all those mom and pop shops the nice cafes 
uh, you might find a few higher end restaurants as well and pretty much find a train station and have the commuter friendly feel so before we get into the downtown area i want to show you this major um, intersection here that is at the, literally at the beginning of cranford here's where you're going to actually get into all your major highways so pretty much the moment you cross this bridge you're coming from roselle and this you're going to enter into cranford first thing you're going to see is this quick check uh, they have a wawa down the road and they have a quick check here which is great to get gas they have the tesla stations here you have a tesla to charge your car and here's where you're going to enter into the into the paid tolls um, highways called the garden state parkway this is going to get you into new york city you need to go to newark from here you're gonna it's gonna be a tolled highway but it's gonna get you a lot faster instead of taking the one and nine if you continue a little more down this going south there's and coming down south and if you come a little more down going to roselle a little bit this is the entry to go up north and this probably you're gonna take if you are commuting to new york city um, which is literally down the street that's the wawa i was talking about and from here you're going to here and then you're probably an hour away from new york city driving which is really convenient because you're not going to get that much traffic depending on what time you come in. So you can see here that in the peak hour, which is 8 a.m. roughly, you're going to get into New York City driving in about 45 minutes to an hour and a half, depending on which highway that you take, because you have three different forms of way of getting there. It's not going to change much, but usually the way that most people go in is what I just showed you is, is through the Garden State Parkway. Um, but you can see accessibility to the highways is extremely easy and not only that you're going to be able to get into other forms of transportation like this the bus service that's called um box car this is a private bus service it's like a coach bus that'll take you directly to your job some cases or maybe get you near your job if you want to take the bus the town of uh, cranford also has a train station this train station will get you into New York about the same time driving, but you're not gonna have to have the hustle of pretty much being in traffic for an hour and an hour and a half, depending on the day. So there's a train station you could take. You're gonna take the 113, which will get you in with bus, or you can take the train and also give you around the same time to get into New York City. Well, with that being said, I kind of wanted to take you down to the downtown area here is probably the heart of cranford in the surrounding area it's going to be called the lincoln park neighborhood pretty much is the downtown areas and a few houses surrounding it so let's dive in here you're going to see how much the culture of the town changes depending if you're in the north or south side of the downtown area because this north side here is where you're going to see those um mom and pop shops definitely an older feel of a town Cranford is an older town, but you're still going to get a lot of the younger feel of it. So right here, we're pretty much in the center of the downtown area. Once you cross this bridge, you go from the south side of downtown to the north side of downtown, which is here. You're going to see a lot of boutiques. Definitely a nice downtown area. Let me take you down here. Here you're going to find a bunch of, you're going to find a beauty salon. You're going to find Italian restaurants, pizzerias. Um, it's pretty nice. You can see it's definitely uh, def an older feel of a downtown area. Um, it's not going to be like New York City, LA, Miami, but it's definitely more suburban. And it's going to be one of those towns that a lot of people know each other since it's not huge. And you can see it's super nice out here. Uh, very quiet. A little bit more urbanized because obviously we're in the downtown area, but it's not going to be like Elizabeth or Linden. Uh, it's definitely going to be a lot older crowd, but you're getting the mix of the younger generation. Like you, have, you have pliable here. Um, and this kind of, this ends the downtown area from here. I'm going to take you back to the center where we were just at. And instead of going straight, we're going to make a right. And I'm going to show you how that part of the downtown Cranford actually feels like. So here's where we started from. Instead of going straight through here, we're gonna make this left and then go this way. And you're gonna continue to feel, to get the same feel of the town, still downtown-y, a little bit more urbanized. There's an amazing coffee shop here, in my opinion. Probably the best coffee I've had in the area. And then you have Urban Burger as well. Um, right here, 
literally great burgers if you're one of the burger guys so the cool thing is that Cranford still has a lot of culture you're gonna get a nice theater here they have a lot of um, smaller kind of um, events they have movies that they play there all the time they were just playing a, a Barbie movie that came out so you're getting still that nice cute commute of the community of the town but that's pretty much it for the downtown area um, you have a diner down here as well but overall this the majority of the downtown area and like you know that like you can see definitely not a city definitely extremely suburban but you're getting a lot of the cute things so from here you have the train station that on the other side which is the south side i'm going to show you and you're going to see how things change completely literally going a few steps away okay so now we're on south ave which is parallel to the other street we're at which is north ave and here is where you're going to have the entry of this train station you can still get in from the other side but here's going to be the main, en main entry and you can see that it's right off kind of the younger downtown area you might call it which is here on south ave you're gonna get a starbucks all these apartments buildings up here are either rental lofts or apartment complex and you can see that it's extreme it's way newer than that other north side uh, downtown area um you have a liquor store you have a cool italian restaurant here um, they have outside dining you can even bring your dogs it's pretty nice here and then down the street you have a mexican restaurant well mexican bar restaurant style um which is nice because not only you're getting the nice restaurants but you're getting a cool different feel of uh different styles of foods and overall community that so the, that this area starts from river and rail here and it continues all the way down south ave because these are the newer complex you come down here and you're gonna get a, a a different feel than the other one but a lot younger so this is a tavern that just recently opened um definitely recommended and you're seeing that now you're gonna get a lot more kind of bars you have a deli you have restaurants still and it's definitely a lot more movement and a lot younger as well this area is going to stop from this street here and all the way down here it's going to continue kind of that younger feel of the Cranford south side downtown area um, and then you're going to have before Cranford ends here you're going to have a little plaza and here you're going to get your supermarket you're going to get dollar general you're going to have a little bit of everything so you can see that this downtown area has a lot of the amenities that you might need no big retail names but there's so many things to do here and you really can't get bored i love uh i have a few clients that move to cranford and they commute to new york city but they like living kind of near the downtown area since they want to get a quick coffee in the morning before going to work or just being an easy commute okay so we were literally just right here this is north ave this is south ave and this is pretty much where you're going to find the downtown area the town the houses by that area are going to fall in the lincoln park um, neighborhood this is the lincoln park park <laughs> pretty much and all the houses here are going to be a super quick commute so everybody that's living moving into these areas are going to probably want that easier commute to to the, to the train station but you're not sacrificing any of the suburban living because like you can see extremely suburban and mine we're only a few minutes away from where we're just at but you're gonna see that the town gets extremely suburban the houses have uh, are very nice and taken care of the style of homes in these um, areas and overall the town are gonna be those older colonial homes that you can see here you might find some smaller homes like Cape Cods um, Cape Cods and then the cool thing about Cranford is that even though you're gonna get those maybe smaller homes um, nicely taken care of if you go once you go up north they get humongous they get mansions you get Victorians you get such a different field throughout the whole town but pretty much this this what you're gonna get in Cranford the majority suburban you're that's not really much going on some streets are um, tree-lined streets this is this isn't in this in this case since we are still closer to the downtown area it is going to be probably the most i guess urbanized in quotation marks that you're going to get but like you can see it's extremely suburban and the houses are all nicely taken care of 
So you, here you're gonna see a few um, Cape Cods, style homes, a little bit smaller, but um, it's cool that Cranford has so many different styles. Okay, so we were just in the downtown area. We're gonna move north a little bit, um, going into the area called Roosevelt Manor which is the most north area right next to Nomohian Park, which is a major, major park here. This park connects to the um, golf arena that's in Kenilworth, and, um, which is here, Gallup and Hill Golf Arena. And that's for all my golf fanatics. It's probably going to be your spot. Um, Kenilworth is literally right next door, and you're only a few minutes away, especially if you're in this north side area. So from Orange Ave here, pretty much continued all the way up um, this river riverside drive is gonna be the roosevelt manor area here this is the oldest oldest neighborhood in cranford so you're gonna know that the ta the houses here are gonna get a little older and the feel of the overall area here is extremely older compared to where we're just at let's dive in right now that you can see houses start to get a little bit bigger um they're definitely not huge like we're going to see down south of Cranford, but they're a lot of the older kind of style feel. Um, let me take you down. There's some streets here that also are the tree line streets, but you can see it's definitely going to change up a little bit. I want to get you a, cute, a good view of, the, of this area because it is extremely nice. This is the area that's most east of um, Cranford, northeast. And the houses are a little bit smaller but look right when we start getting closer to the park they change drastically so even here you're seeing the houses start getting a lot bigger um this has been re this is being renovated there's a lot of homes there's a colonial renovation um the homes here are super super historical and this is a main reason Cranford has that feel because the town overall likes to keep that original feel. You are going to find the new constructions, but a nice community feel of a town, historical homes, super, super nice lawns. But let me show you this one area of here that is literally right next to the park. I love the homes here. They're huge. They're nicely taken care of. Um, you really don't find much of this in other parts of Cranford, but you're going to get what you pay for. This part of Cranford is definitely more expensive. Um, the moment you go up north and you get into those bigger, older homes, some properties are ranging in the million plus, um, depending how much work you need, you're going to need to put into it. But look at this home. Nice taken care of. It's not a new construction, but it's extremely nice. Uh, renovation across the street as well nice home tree lined streets uh, and you can see that kids are playing in the street it's very very nice uh, safe community and that's something else that Cranford is extremely safe and it's such a small town and does something does happen the the law enforcement is there right away and pretty much everybody in the town knows each other but again there's a Rose Roosevelt Manor area you're gonna find this older style homes and definitely a lot bigger. So before we go to the next area, which is right next door, I wanna show you a little bit of the Nomohian Park because it's a huge, huge benefit of um, Cranford. It has a nice lake. It's it's not a huge park, okay? But you're gonna get what you need of a park. You're gonna get a recreational area. You're gonna get a lot of green space. Very family friendly. It's it's like those things that people need in a suburban town Cranford has and a lot of people that are looking for that next level in education having a mixture of everything Cranford definitely hits all the check marks and right across the street from the park is the Union County College which is a nice big campus um, this is the front of it uh, it continues all the way down through here you can see the campus is pretty big and Union, Col Union County College has another college in Elizabeth but this is kind of their bigger campus and get a bunch of students coming here from throughout Union County okay so we were just here in the Roosevelt Manor, Roosevelt Manor area now we got the Nomahium Park Union County College 
and there's a little section here between kind of the college area and the downtown area which is pretty much from Brookside Place all the way down to West End Place and Springfield Avenue this is called Fairview Manor these houses here are huge they have nice properties definitely more expensive near the Cranford High School and you're gonna see how much things change from this particular area where we're just at in the, in the downtown area. Houses here are huge. Defi still in the older kind of field, but you're gonna see some properties here are literally mansions. And this is when you start seeing a little bit of a different kind of style of homes. Um, homes here are super nicely taken care of. You know that the land, the owners of properties here are take a lot of pride in where they live and the community itself. And look at these homes they're humongous and these are the type of style of homes that are going to be costing in the million plus definitely if they're renovated if you can find a home that it might need some work it's definitely you can negotiate on the price but homes here in this area is hard to find under a million but you're definitely getting what you're, pay you're paying for because you're going to be right next to the schools you're going to be right next to all these nice homes and it's definitely a different feel you can see homes here huge street line streets tree line streets very nice and i think in my opinion this is might be considered one of the best parts of cranford because we're right next to the normal Heaton park we have huge real estate still one of the older communities as well but you're going to find a few new constructions the cool thing is there's a little part here in cranford that it doesn't really have a neighborhood name but i think it's huge properties right off the fairway manor it's going a little bit more north kind of in between the school and um, fairway manor and properties here are literally huge tree line roads this is kind of I mean, it, kind of where you're gonna find one of the best parts in my opinion best kind of real estate in cranford in general um community is extremely nice and so we're right next to garwood you're getting that garwood feel of the town itself as well i just love how they uh, how these owners just keep all their properties super nice the lawn is so nice and you can tell how much they love their homes so that's pretty much the whole north side part of cranford we kind of covered everything you got the park we got the uh different neighborhood roosevelt manor fairview manor you got the downtown area so once we go down south things change drastically because going from that older town feel you start getting that younger feel of the town because once you get into clark clark is a little bit more urbanized than cranford you're gonna have the downtown clark we're gonna have the clark um, plaza area where you're gonna find your whole food la fitness those bigger retail names but you're also gonna find also a lot of the schools in cranford so cranford has a few schools is rated rated seven out of union county a average um, overall school ranking um, you can see that you have a few of the schools up here which this would be considered the uh, high school of Cranford but overall all the schools are a a minus obviously there's obvious exceptions but you know that the main main purpose of Cranford is that they're trying to keep their school rankings high and they're ranking number seven in Union County which is not bad overall they have a few different elementary schools um two middle schools and then one high school which a lot of these towns is very common only to have one high school sometimes the bigger cities like elizabeth has a few different ones but overall you're only, only going to get one high school so with that being said let's actually dive into the area here of cranford which is called indian village i in my opinion obviously it's all going to be relative but Indian Village really is from this park here, and you kind of draw, draw a line there diagonally. That's going to be considered the Indian, Indian Village. I personally like this area the most, even though up north you're going to get amazing properties. Here you're going to start actually getting those new construction style homes. And it's very rare to find them throughout Cranford since Cranford is such a historical um, town. But here's when you're actually going to start getting those nice, cool um style homes all right so right diving right into it you're gonna see right away this is one of the new construction style homes they're building this is one of the smaller styles but you're gonna start seeing this is very common in this area 
um, homes are still big you still get those train line streets but they're gonna be a lot newer it's nice going throughout the town and actually experiencing the town yourself because you start seeing how different everything is all right diving right into this area you're gonna start seeing that's a bunch of newer construction homes that you can see here this is gonna be kind of the area where you're gonna find those newer style homes you're still gonna get the older um, colonial but there's been a lot more investments coming down here since we're still near the Clark area and you're getting that younger feel but overall throughout Cranford things change a lot you're still gonna get the nice community feel just a few newer homes I personally like that a lot more it brings a lot more life to the town and it's just giving you that extra um, younger feel of Cranford in general because for many years the town has been a little bit older but with the people moving from different states like um, New York, California, Florida, you're getting that um, younger feel of the town. But overall, throughout Cranford, you're going to get the street line, um, street line, street line streets. You're going to get the nice community feel. Um, and then coming down south a little bit, you're going to get a lot more of the younger feel of the town. But I personally like this area a lot more since you're going to get those newer constructions. You're going to get accessibility to um, Clark Plaza, accessibility to 22 a little easier because you are close to Route 22 and overall get the nice still a nice community